right, welcome back everybody. Um, or welcome, if this is your first time viewing this stream and these clips and these videos. My name is Shifu of the Cards. Glad to have you. Today we're going to look at another uh, master, Mantis. This is a very cool deck. Um, it takes a little bit of build, takes a little bit of patience, much like the control build. This is a straight control deck. There's no frills about it. There's no aggression about it. This is, I'm going to make big minions. I'm going to stop you from attacking, and I'm going to counterattack when I get swift. That's it. The theme of control and swift, and it is very, very, very powerful. All focused on one exceptionally strong card, and that card is... I did not... It's not come up. That card is technical error. That card is... I cannot find him with my hand. That card is Sugar Tooth. Anybody he went away? He does not. He's shy. Camera shy happens to all of us. Don't judge. Sugar Tooth. <laughs> this is what his deck is built on. Sugar Tooth. Whenever a friendly minion in guard is attacked, restore three health to all warriors. Truly, Ludia made this card to say thank you to control players because this card says, "Hey." We want you to go and guard. Not only are we want you to go and guard, we're going to heal you for doing what you want to do anyway in a control deck. This is the card that makes. This is the engine that makes the card go. Conversely, if you are playing against a Mantis deck and you have knockout cards, hold them for this card. This is the strength and the Achilles heel of the Mantis deck if they're going control. Now I said I can build any kind of deck, and I would love to build any kind of deck. This is the card that the control deck is based off of. Maybe you want to do a, a aggro mantis or a scroll control, which I trademark, chief of the cards, scroll control. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, this is the card that you need for, for control, not scroll control, trademark. Here we go. So we'll save it. We'll see it in action. You'll see the power, hopefully, of Sugar Tooth, who was camera shy. We should call him Camera Tooth. Bad. Sorry. Sugar Tooth, you hope you see the power of him. The basic idea is to get him, keep the warriors alive. You see a lot of big health minions. This guy right here is really good in this deck because he keeps on getting you put him in defense, he gets stronger as he gets hit. That's always good. This is a linchpin to this deck. 281 of the hero, such a high health pool. Really good. I go ahead and put this guy in add health to my taunters, which gives me more wall, which gives me more control, which grinds the opponent down. We'll hopefully see all that in action. And let's queue it up. Let's see what happens. Um, the, 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 the bad matchup for this deck is a Shen deck with the red emblem. And if you watch my previous streams, and please do it, Shifu the Cards at YouTube, or follow me on Twitter, Shifu the Cards at Twitter. There's a theme. The, the 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 thing that gets rid of control decks in this game is Red Emblem. So if you're going against a lot of control, switch to, to uh, Shen, and you can just, if you get that card, you can go right through them. There's really no answer to turning everything into a 1-1. So we're looking for an opponent. Let's see if we can go ahead and put a control stamp on this one and uh, ride this one to victory. Here we go. We're going against a crane. Very interesting. This will be, Crane will be the last one of my tutorials because I have not figured out a great way or a theme to build a Shen that is, excuse me, a, a Crane that is uh, foolproof. So maybe this gentleman, Fearless Gorilla, will give me some thoughts and some ideas. Of course, I'm going to keep the Bunny Bowman. If you follow my stream, you know that I'm in love with this card. I'm going to keep Sugar Tooth, although I wouldn't normally, I'm not actually I'm not going to, I'm going to wait till later on. I don't want anything high uh, cost in my hand early on, especially if I'm going first. If you watched my um, Shen video, I kept the four cost card because I was going second because I had more cards in my hand plus that mana crystal. So we're going to confirm. And we get one of my favorite cards again, Trample, uh, trample Horn. Your end turn. This is such a great card. This lends itself to the control build. Um, if you have big minions and they play a big minion, you can neutralize that big minion. Let's say it's a 6-6 six, six card, you, a 6-6 six, six beetle, for example. You play this, it's a 1-6. You can run your creatures until you get rid of it. 
I don't have anything to play there. This adds hill to a minion. I have a minion on the board. This gets rid of a minion, as we all know. They don't have a minion, so we can't play it. So what do we do? Do we pass? No. We go right to the armory, get a card for later. Restore two health. End turn. Restore. Look at that. At the end of your turn, restore two health. Perfect for a control build. So not too bad. We will attack him uh, just because it's something to do. Here we go. See what he builds. Play the GGM. So I'm thinking Gold Tooth's coming. And there it is. I'm seeing things. So Gold Tooth comes out. That's just a great three cost card in any deck. He played it. And there's my Gold Tooth. See, it, it's, it's, it's probably, if not the, one of the best three cost drops in the game. Have it in all your decks if you can. So I can play my Gold Tooth and run it into it, or I can play, that's right, you know, it's coming, the Bunny Bowman. The Bunny Bowman comes out, wipes out his Gold Tooth, I put it in defense, and I have a 1 3 defender that meets the 3 health pool requirement and starts establishing a little bit of control. I could have gone either way, I could have gone Gold Tooth to get board presence, I chose to go with the Bunny Bowman. You can do it either way. Since I don't know um, the four damage to a warrior, that was a really wasted card there. That yes, he did do four damage to my bunny bowman, but that's a wasted card. You want to play that when I have other creatures in line with it. I didn't have that, so it was just kind of a wasted play there. Now I'm gonna put start putting some defense on the board. Now normally I would do one damage to him, but he didn't have anything. I'm going to put it in defense because that's what it does. And I'm going to hit face and see what happens here. Now, how, how different would that have looked if he would have attacked last turn, put my Bunny Bowman down to one, and then use that four cost to hit that creature? Um, so he's doing a lot of direct damage spells to it. That wasn't too bad, did four damage to it. Um, and that four two with Meditate, I'm not a big fan of four two with Meditate. So here's where that card comes into play. I set his enemy strength to 1. That 4-2 becomes a 1-2. 0-2, excuse me. And I go ahead and clear that out with my hero. I play my gold tooth. I get him in the face. Now we're even. And this 2-4, I still have a 2-4 taunter. So he's done a lot of drag damage spells. I have board control. He played a big creature. He's come. He's, he's coming with it with some big creatures here. Um, it hits me in the face, and I have once again one of the best cards I have is this. Straight set his strength to zero. And now what I will do is I will play one of my favorite cards. I will get rid of that card because once you get it down to zero, it's only for this turn. So you want to clear that card out. That card is a big card. I want to attack him to his face with my 4-7 and that gives it Swift, which Mantis is a good build for Mantis. And now I have still defense, still board control, 5-5 five, five, Taunter, 3-3. Three, three. If he doesn't clear the board here, and he just has a lot of big creatures. Um, He's gonna, you know, he's, he's pushing pressure. I've not been able to get a good board control, but at the same time, I'm blocking all of his attacks with these big creatures. So I'm ahead. Um, and here we go. Now this is an interesting uh, situation. At any turn, restore two health. Um, so what I could do is I can play this rabbit here, clear out his five six. Put this belt on. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play the sugar tooth here. You see the power of this card. I'm going to attack with the sugar tooth, and I'm going to put this gold tooth in guard. And what's going to happen is, unless he has a spell that I'm not aware of, and he might, it, when he goes to attack this cold tooth, watch what happens. It'll heal. All of my minions, uh, Sugar Tooth will heal all of my minions. So there it is. Uh, unfortunately, because he has big minions, uh, that he heals with that six. If he attacks with that six first, he'll blow through my defenses. But see, that was a mistake. He should have blown through it. See, he, he attacked with a two. He thought it was a three three. I healed before the attack, 
it was a 3-5. Men- now, now he's pretty much done. At this point, um, I have control of the board. I have creatures, and I have sugar tooth. So I'm going to put more defense up. I'm going to make it even harder for him to get through. And I'm going to put this card in to make it even harder for that guy to get through. And I'm going to put health on him to make it even harder to get through. And then what I'm going to do is try to clear out that 6-6 six, six with him and him. And then I'm going to attack here and here and here. Push damage. Because every time he tries to attack that 110 goose, Sugartooth is going to heal all my people. He's down to 7. I'm down to 17. Wasn't as controlly as I would have wanted to because he had a lot of big cards and was coming at me hard. But you see that I stopped all those big cards and attack. And now I have control of the board. He used all the spells a little too early. He stunned my sugar tooth, but that shouldn't affect its ability. So right there, it's a 110. So he had healed, but he was already at 10. So now he's at 18. He healed. He went back to a 110. You see the you see the beauty of that card. It's just healing, healing, healing. Now this is the finisher. We put this right here, and it gives everybody swift. So. What I'm going to do is do this. Get the benefit of Swift. I'm going to attack with three. And attack with three. And look at that board presence. Look at that control. And you got to see exactly what I wanted you to see. Board control with Mantis. Fueled by Sugar Tooth. It's a beautiful thing. And that was against a pretty good um, um, crane deck that was heavy hitters, a lot of pressure. I Man, to shut it down, eventually got board control. I had sugar too. He could have thrown works at me. Nothing would have got through. A nice, solid win for Mantis. A very good look at a Mantis control. Please like and subscribe if you have any questions. If you'd like to see more Mantis, please ask me. I'm very, very keen on this deck. I really like what it can do. If you want to see Mantis aggro, if you want to see different versions of Mantis, if you want to see me play more, I will be starting a stream. I think I'm going to start it uh, on February 18th, tomorrow, uh, at, at the time of me filming this. Actually, when this video gets released, it'll be um, on the day of my stream. Please check out the stream. Again, follow me on Twitter, Shifu of the Cards. Please like and comment and any kind of feedback you can give me at my YouTube page. I would really appreciate it. It's been my pleasure to give you this broadcast. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to send them to me. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Keep playing. I remain the Shifu of the cards.